another video of mine. So today I'm going to be doing what is in my makeup bag. A lot of people ask me like what type of makeup I use. Now my makeup's kind of sweated off because I'm just home from work. Um, yeah, and the aircon is not working in my job and you know, I'm a hard worker so I just sweat it all off. So yeah, I'm just going to go through step by step what I do with my makeup. So I'm going to pretend like I'm going to go through it as if I'm starting from my base. So yeah. So yeah, I'm going to start off with my base. So, you know, I wash my face before with my cleansing water and then I go in with my pennies. This is basically the Bobbi Brown dupe from pennies. It's called Prep Plus Perfect and it's a vitamin enriched moisturizing primer. So I slap that on my face, rub it in. So my skin is like moisturized to like start drawing on it basically. So then after that, I go in with my Rimmel Perfect Match concealer this is in 005 ivory this is so good i love this it's just such a good concealer and it's called match perfection because like obviously you try and get a shade near your skin tone obviously this shade is my skin tone but i don't know what's in it it just makes like when it goes on your skin and it's on it for like a couple of minutes it then matches your skin skin la, 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 skin tone so yeah, like I put that on my spots, but like, as I said, I sweat it off my makeup, but this is really good coverage. I need to top up my makeup later, because I'm actually going out with my job and Molly. We both work in the same job, one of my managers is having a leaving party, so yeah. So then after I'm all moisturised, I head in with my Rimmel. I just, you know what, I love to make a brand Rimmel, so I'm like, I literally so loyal to Rimmel London. Anyway, so then after I conceal my spots... I go in with my Rimmel London Last and Finish 24 hour coverage, full coverage, in the shade 303, yeah, 303, 303 True Nude. And this is the applicator pump, just a little pump. Put that on my face. Now, this is kind of like when I have tan on, as you can see, I do have tan on. So, this works really well, like it matches my tan. And then I go in with my Black Canvas F. Zero one brush and I dab that all around my face okay then after that I go in contouring now I don't have a contour stick I don't like cream contour I only like bronzing contour so as you can see like all this here and a bit on my nose is my contour but I use the bronzing so I use the so sue I use it so much that it's literally gone off it's so sue dripping gold it's actually a body a body shimmer but I use it for bronze and like it's really good like as you can see I'm touching the pan so I go in with that with the same brush as my foundation brush just a different brush for powder and I just go like that so yeah and then then on the same brush after doing my you know bronzing contour I head in with the W7 cheeky trio and I use the blush out of this now before I show you this I've had this for years I'm pretty sure I've had this palette since I was like 14 and I'm not even messing because look it's literally all gone like all that's gone the bronze and all the I don't even know what that is all the highlighter is gone all I have left is a blusher but yeah so I just get this brush I'll just put on a bit because I actually have to top up my makeup anyway and I just dab it you know it adds a bit of rosiness to the cheeks so yeah love that then after all of that I head in with my shocker rimmel again rimmel london stay matte powder in the shade 001 transparent so this is really light so what i do is i get my elf cosmetics brush i'm just going to show you because i have to top up my makeup anyway and i just go under the eyes just to brighten it up like see a difference like this is more oilier because um i've been in work all day and i didn't bring my makeup to top it up and then sometimes i do a bit down here and then a bit on the forehead so that's what I do with that. Also, all the Rimmel makeup smells so good. So I definitely try it out for me. Then what I do is I get the same one as this, but just in a different shade, which is this one. And it's in shade 006 Warm Beige. And I get my foundation brush. And I just tap, tap. And I like carve out my contour. So yeah, so it's all like blended if you just get me. And then I just dab, 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 you know? So it's all like nice pulled in together. Um, yeah, actually, speaking of my makeup, I'm just going to top up my contour on my forehead again. So as you can see, I'm tapping in. 
I just, you know what, I just love makeup. Like, I just, if you've never actually tried makeup, definitely recommend trying it because it is just a lifesaver, you know? Just makes you feel more confident on the days that you need it. And yeah, you just feel great after slapping a bit on. So after that then, so basically like I'd have my full face done. So then I'm gonna move on to the eyebrows. So basically for my eyebrows, I use another Penny's dupe. I can't remember what the actual original is, but the Penny's one is called Fix and Sculpt Brow Sculpting Wax, and there's a brush included. It's a bit uh, dirty, don't judge. But anyway, so it's like this brow wax used to just brush up your brows, stick them in place. And then you have the brush and the comb. So I already have my brows done, I don't need to touch them up. I'm actually really gone into like not filling in my brows lately like it just looks way natural way more natural but if like I was going like on a big big night out like just say the business ball that I was at last Wednesday obviously I'd fill in my eyebrows but like for little quiet nights like tonight well probably won't be a quiet night but you know like you're just going to the pub I wouldn't fill in my eyebrows you know what I mean then after that I get my lash curler and I grab my eyelashes and I pin them down curl them and then I head in with my essence Lash Princess Mascara. I actually need a new one of these. It's kind of running out. But what I do is I just go like that then. As you can see. It's nearly empty. I actually keep on meaning to get another one. But I keep on forgetting. So I may put that on my list to do. Then after that. If I'm like feeling like that the lashes. After the mascara and curling aren't enough. Or aren't the way I wanted them to. I add false lashes. Which I have on right now. As you can see. I have on false lashes right now. So another Penny's purchase is I get these individuals, I get them in short and medium just to make it look more natural. You can get them in long as well, but I like the short and medium because it looks more natural, you know what I mean? So yeah. And then after all of that, it's time for the lips. The lips is always the last that you do in your makeup. So I get my bronze and palette and I use the mirror, as you can see. And another Penny's, I, I swear, Primark Penny's, whatever you want to call it, they've actually upped their makeup game and it's just so cheap. Like, I don't see why people would spend so much money when Penny's do dupes the exact same. So I don't know if this is a dupe, I don't think it is, but this is the Lip Liner Lip Pencil in the shade Toast. Now, I do like a dark lip and then light in the center. I'm not going to do it now, but I'm just going to swat it right here. So yeah, you can see the darkness. <laughs> so you can see like how I kind of like the darkness. And then I do that all over my lip area. And then I head in with Essence again. So Essence who make my mascara, I head in with their lip gloss in Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss. And I don't know what shade it's in. It's just, um, it doesn't have a shade name, but it's basically this, like just like a little nude pink color and i'm just gonna put a bit on my lips so you can see how it will look see just extra shine but like obviously like when i have my lips all done it looks way better but yeah that's really it for what's in my makeup bag like obviously i just have other bits like a uh, lip liner topper you know to keep your lip liner sharp and then i have like old one of these well it's not that old i literally got it like a month ago but that's just this one, it's just nearly all gone. So yeah, it's just I have like extras, like my foundation, this is a new one, this one's nearly all gone, you know. So yeah, and then I have another one of these, as I just showed. Like, I just go through my makeup so quick. But the one thing is, like, I do have, so I'm just going out my makeup bag. I do have really affordable makeup, so at least that's a plus. So yeah, if you're wanting to wear makeup like mine, that's basically how you do it. And in my next video, I might actually sit down and go through my whole routine step by step and like talk about the different techniques, different brushes and detail and how you can like get the effects of this face basically. And um, yeah, if you would like to see that, let me know in the comments and yeah, hopefully I'll see you sometime soon. But this might be my last video for a while because it's coming into summer and the last couple of weeks in college and I have a lot to study for but I'll keep you updated on my socials so yeah it's been a pleasure make sure you like subscribe and all that jazz and yeah hopefully I'll see you soon